video video looks really cool. It's a uh, high uh, action, makes me want to play the game. Um, I don't know, profit goes nuts with uh, LMG, but here's the um, C4. My question is, how's the volume? Because I could pull, I just pulled it in, and I could see the the levels of the volume are like really low. It needs to be all this volume. Maybe just the music needs to come louder, but it definitely needs to come up. Play with this for a minute. See, even cranked up is still low. So, uh, are you not using those headphones I got you? So even if I throw on the multiband compressor and then bump it up to plus eight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, see, that's already better. So I could export that. And if I want to put on if I want to put on let me just see what some effects look like. I don't know if you did any sharpening, but put an adjustment layer. Just curious. I'll show you my standard type of uh, thing is I put on the Fast color. <clears throat> Sorry, I just woke up. My throat's kind of like. Okay, here. So if I put on the color corrector and then I crunch some blacks a little bit, that might be too much. I don't really need to do do all that. I think you did. I mean, I don't know. It looks okay how it is, but. What I'll do sometimes is I'll put 1.1 here, then I'll bring in the color. So that way I brought that up a lot actually, so maybe like 130. And then we could tint it, but I don't really want to do that. <clears throat> maybe bring the blacks in to like 6 or something to darken it. <clears throat> I might. It might not need that because the picture starts to look like all dark. I like the videos like nice and bright where you can see them clear most of the time. Um, but anyway, the unsharp mask, I'll show you how I put that on. You might have already used it, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but just to see what it looks like. If I put it to like 80 and put this on 2. And now if I take it off, and then if I um, con control D, no, that didn't do anything, or hold Alt and drag it down, you have a new one. That didn't work either. Copy, control C, control C, control V, there's a new one. So I put this one on about like six. <clears throat> That's a little much though too much I think maybe so this one should come down to about like <clears throat> 30 this one can come down to like 70 and now if I were to take this adjustment layer off it looks like that I'll zoom in just so you could see if I put it on everything pops it becomes like look at the wall See the guy there? Boom, he's all like sticking out now. So I don't know, this might be a little overkill, a little too much sharpening. I think it might be a little too much, so you may have already sharpened it. <clears throat> but once it goes on YouTube, it loses some 
quality anyway, so the sharpening kind of helps it. I don't know if I'm overkilling it, it might be a little too much. <clears throat> so you see, is it this one? No, I think it's this one that might be... I don't know. They're both work working, but... <clears throat> Anyway, here's another thing. If I want to go to Magic Bullet Looks, throw that on there. It gives me this setup here. <clears throat> Pick something like Body Shop, which should show you a preview, but it's not. <clears throat> and then put the, um, the, um, the strength of it at about 50. So if I take it off, you can see the difference. Well, let me zoom it back out to fit the screen. And now I put it off. <clears throat> then put it on. I made everything like take on this whole different tone. Look at all that red and bluish highlights. This color up here in the top right. Then I take it off. It gives it this like nice poppy look to it. I take it off. All this blue haze here. When I put it back on, that blue lighting. <clears throat> Definitely crunches contrast too. So it might be a little overkill. But it actually might help. See this guy here? If I take off this whole adjustment layer, it looks kind of dull and boring. But if I put that adjustment layer on, it all comes like pops out with colors and contrast. Look at all this stuff here. The guy's head. Even the text. <clears throat> I mean, like I said, it might have put a little too much, but. It looks pretty good. Look at that. So between this and that, this and that, to me this this definitely looks better. So anyway, I need an outro for the uh, but that's fine. I don't really need one but You can see right here, if I take this layer off, how dull and everything looks plain in comparison to that. With the colors popping and all this blue light lighting over here. Anyway, I just want to show you that. So the volume definitely was an issue. And then if you want to make it pop more. And I don't know if you have this plugin, Magic Bullet Looks. But if you don't, I can send you a bunch of plugins. I don't know if they're going to work with... Um, I don't know if they're going to work with your version of CS, whatever, but um, I can send you all that stuff too. Let's see this right off the bat, the difference in the colors when I turn it on and off. And you even look over here at this. Big difference. The color of this here and the detail in the hand. So that's a combination of the sharpening. <clears throat> if I were to take off the fast color corrector, it changes a little bit. The brightness that I put up and the color a little bit. But I don't know, I kind of like this. It's pretty bright. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna export that out so you don't have to, so you don't have to do all that. <clears throat> So you don't have to do it again since I just did it. So we'll call it, I don't know, we'll call it Profit Goes Nuts. What do you call it when somebody goes, um, I don't know, on a rage? Profit Rampage Killing with <coughs> LMG and C4. 
Rampage Kill House. Profit LMG and C4 Rampage Kill House. I don't know, something like that. <clears throat> and my settings. Let me just check what yours were exported on. Details 20. Yeah, that's kind of what I've been using a lot lately. 50 has been way too high. File sizes have been used. So see how I'm on 20. I'm on the same thing. That I can crank up. Um, you can go if you change your profile here to high you actually get more bit rates than you would assuming you needed it but you don't uh, that's cool so I can click Q <coughs> and it pulls it here and so it can export oh what happened no, I clicked the wrong thing click the play button there and should export so that's exporting when I can actually still be in Premiere. But this is all stuff I'm done with. And so even if I adjust, even if I move stuff here, it's not going to mess with the export I just set. What's wrong here? Something's up here. Something weird's there. Maybe there's a video down there. Is there a bunch of videos down there? There we go. Alright, anyway, just kind of showing you once again if I were to take this off, see the difference between like dull and boring and and then popping in contrast and color. Alright, that's it. And then definitely, you know. Be aware of the sound. See the sound wave here. Actually, let's give it a second and see how long this takes. Look, it's almost done. So if I wait for it, and then I'm going to pull in the video clip, and you'll actually see the difference in the sound. So go back to workspace, reset current, current workspace, back to the way it was. I like to drag this over here so I have more timeline. <coughs> this is a little big. Yeah, I prefer when I'm doing stuff, especially quickly, I use CS6. It seems to be more reliable for me. But um, I have both down here. So I have 6, I have set, uh, 2018 or whatever. And those could actually be opened at the same exact time. I've, <clears throat> sorry, there's like a frog in my throat. I just woke up in the middle of the night. It's 4 a.m., 4.15 a.m. I actually have to go to work in a few hours, but see, if I wanted to open up another project here, I could do that as well. I have two, two projects being edited at the same time. Uh, let's see, is this almost done? Looks like it's almost done, but maybe it's not. It says remaining 11.29, so I don't know. I guess not. I thought it would be fast because it's a two-minute clip, but... Maybe not. Anyway, <clears throat> no, it's not. It's gonna be a little while, I guess. I don't know. Maybe because the effects. I think when you run those um, magic bullet looks effects, I think it might, and the sharpening and all those effects over the whole video. I think it takes a little longer. It definitely takes a little longer to export. But I would have thought it would go faster than this. Anyway, let me see if I could find the programs. Programs, production. I have my essential, my functional, my production, gaming, specific. It's under production. There should be magic bullet somewhere. Looks. Red giant. Complete suite. This is it. It's got all this stuff here. Color suite. 
serial numbers. <clears throat> uh, King, sweet. Da, da. I don't use all this stuff, but Magic Bullet Looks is right here. This is one that I do use. It's nice. All this stuff here. When you open them up, What you do is this, you start installing them and then you put in the suites and you got all this stuff. Look, Plural Eyes is a great plugin for um, if you have to sync up a lot of footage. You put it in Plural Eyes first, Plural Eyes, and it grabs all the footage and detects it and syncs it all up on a timeline matching it. And you pull in this timeline and it's all synced up. Like if you had a music video with multiple cameras doesn't always work depending on your audio but it's worked a lot for me I don't use it a lot but when I did have to use it it was great um, I believe it's I believe I have it installed so I'm not gonna do it but uh, I just wanted to show you that and so you have all this stuff here so if I take this and I think that I have this on Google Drive somewhere. Tech Times Programs. Oh no, I don't. Do I? Master Suite Lightroom. It's not in here. Is it in here? No. Uh, Adobe CC. No. Okay, I guess not. So I'm going to take this whole thing here, which is. Oh, two gigs. But I'm going to put all this here and I'll send you that link and you could try to see if any of that works for you. Uh, yeah, this is taking a while. Surprised. For a two minute clip, I'm surprised it's taking that long. So, a lot of processing for some reason. I guess all these effects. Alright, well, anyway. Oh, the last thing I was going to show you is if you pull in, see I have everything separated here, true crime, all the, these are all the videos that I haven't got to yet. Those are, actually this is just source footage that I can go through and find things to make videos from that I had already downloaded before. Um, most of this is all garbage, but if you go into archive, this is all the stuff that's posted on the true crime channel. So I have it over here. <clears throat> Politics I haven't gotten to yet. I haven't done anything for that page, but all this stuff is here. I got to post. Um, I used up like all my bandwidth for AT&T from po reposting all these files again. If you look at just the media alone, I'm looking at the size of it but I have the um, religion imports this is stuff to go through and still look at but over here the archived all this stuff is posted look at this is counting over a, a terabyte and a half this is over 1500 1700 this is going on two terabytes Wow, it's going on three terabytes of just media thousand three point two seven terabytes so you're talking about three thousand two hundred seventy gigs in just the media folder alone um what I was gonna show you was what's this it's this one oh that's the one I'm recording right now so we got videos but let's say for instance this the funny Italian song just to pull it in here you can see you should be able to see the wave the size of the wave when it generates it's generating here at the bottom it's taking a little while but you could see it right here this is a news clip and see how thin the wave is down here but this is the tag times outro and it's nice and fat it's still not even all the way but but right here, look at that that wave. That's what a wave should look like. The wave is the audio file. That is what it should look like. The thickness of it. Well, at least when you're done with it. 
see how fat and full it is and it's not it's not hitting the top or anything it's all just nice and good and if you were to play it it's going to come up right up to the top of the meters Anyway, that was my point. That's what the wave should look like. So I knew right off the bat that your audio was low because I could tell in my headphones when I cranked my headphones it wasn't loud. But see how low it is? So I'm not sure why you didn't pay attention to that. But um, that's something you definitely need to listen, listen to and look for. Now it's super loud, but if I were to go back to the way you had it, Anyway, that's all. That's plenty. I've been talking for 21 minutes. All right, see you later.